Uh, Grand Theft Auto released its video game trailer, and I think it released it a little bit early because it was already leaked. Uh, they verified the leak and they re-uploaded it, and it's trash. And the video is not, or the game is not expected to come out until 2025. Um, I didn't, I didn't really like GTA 5. My issue with GTA 5 is that, um, the number one, I the heist mechanic was so promising but so fumbled. Like I really thought that they were gonna iron out the heist stuff and it would just be like a drop in you know payday style game and you could just play that forever like you could with payday they completely fucked that up and then the other thing i hate is that they added all these mechanics like continually like even at towards the end of the game you're entering a submarine for the first time and it's like there's one mission with a submarine and then you never use it again and then it's just there so they kept adding all this shit that you didn't actually get to play with at all like they could have kept the story going i guess um I don't know. I, I don't remember it that well. It doesn't stick with you either. I don't remember anything about the plight of uh, of the three characters. I remember Michael the best because um, his middle class family was was uh, an interesting interesting story, an interesting reflection on pop culture, which is what GTA is supposed to be. But it's uh, it doesn't really hit that mark. Anyways, I do remember more about GTA Four. Yeah. Because the, the guy is Serbian, <laughs> Nico Bellic. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's a very memorable story. Um, it's also more classic, and it's, I don't know. I don't want to talk too much about video games, but here's what, they, here's what they've decided to do with their pop culture shit for this one. You want to see black people booty clapping on the streets, on the beaches of Miami? She. Wait, where is it? Where's the beach scene? This is like, oh, it's right here. This. This is what the Thai artist paid to produce this video game. Think about America. And by the way, this is in Miami. This is um specifically in Broward County. Broward County County is um Hispanic. It's not black. Broward County is like um it's like a minority black. I want to say there's as many black people as white people, but the rest of it is just Hispanic. So it's not like it's not this shit is what I'm trying to say. Who would want to play a game in in Miami, though? I mean, the cool... I remember I, I played GTA uh, Vice City, and the thing that was most memorable about it was that it would have um, uh, hurricanes every so often, which was pretty nice. I don't know. I'm not hyped for it. Because I know what it's going to be. I know that it's going to be another fucking live service. They're going to have shark cards. They're going to have all that gay shit. Are they going to focus on like the heist mechanic? No. Are they going to focus on like a really cool story that's really memorable like San Andreas is? No, they're not going to do that. It's just going to be fucking shark cards. Everything that's in the game is just going to be like an advertisement to play with the shark cards after the story is over and... There's not going to be any any meaning to any of it, and it's not going to be a an, a meaningful reflection of pop culture. There's not going to be a scene where you have to shoot up a gay pride parade, or you have to like f like p like fight neo Nazis at like a tiki torch rally or anything. It's not going to do any. It's going to be the most tepid, bland, insipid, annoying, uh, unprovocative GTA installment ever. It exists to sell shark cards. It does not exist to um to uh offend like it didn't back in the 90s i don't know what it was in the 90s and 2000s you had uh eminem and you had marilyn manson and you had all these video games like postal coming out and like the entire premise of it was to like shock audiences and cause controversy and piss people off but nowadays you can't do that you do that and you, you can't uh sell any shark cards because your bank account's been fucking closed and your uh ceo has been put into jail for terrorism or some shit i don't know it's just kind of depressed like this is another franchise thing where it's just like i remember when this was good that's how i feel about almost everything i remember when this didn't suck so much shit chat I didn't even play Red Dead, I'm sorry. <laughs> never got around to it. I never had any interest in being a cowboy, I guess. I don't know. It's not really my uh my my field of reference. Um Well this is this was really gay. I included this as an aside. 
Uh, Dan says, list of games I have not played. GTA, GTA 2, GTA 3, GTA 4, GTA 5, or GTA 6. Elon Musk adds, I tried, but I didn't like doing crime. GTA 5 required shooting police officers in the opening scene. I just couldn't do it. Which is like, I don't know, he's an old man. I know he likes to think that he's hip and cool, and I know that he likes to smash young retarded box as like a way of maintaining his youth. But I can kind of see someone born in the 80s in South Africa being like, I actually like police officers. They parole my gated community in emerald mine and keep the darkies out. I never saw a black man until I was 13 and moved to Canada. Like that, that kind of perspective, I understand um, from Elon. However, however, chat, while it's fun to make fun of that, the real kicker is in the reply here. And he says... Uh, I'm glad shooting cops in Cyberpunk 2077 is completely optional. Never finished GTA 5 either. Ian Miles Chong is one of the most pathetic dingleberries ever. I have no idea how this man has achieved as much success as he has. There must be something about his useful doormat face that everyone can just walk over that has managed to find a niche to aggregate content on the internet. But it's just like, this man has not found a dick. He's not willing to suck. And I kind of hate him. <laughs> I've never interacted with him. I'll always remember as that guy that shows up on the kill stream with Intox to Ethan Ralph and was a member of Gamergate. I'll never take him seriously as a journalist. I would make a joke about the, the Flash being the dog, but I'm, I've been told by Wild Goose, uh, who's like an old school, like, Encyclopedia Dramatica or, or Baphomet, I can't remember where he came from, but he was like an old school troll that was really active during the 8chan era, and he says that he just made it up. So I'm going to take him at that word, because I don't know. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.